everybody. Happy National Craft Month. It's Cindy A. Lewis here with you. And I'm filming kind of late tonight uh, for tomorrow's video. It is not going to be a uh, St. Patrick's Day video, but it is going to be something if you like junk journals. And what can I do with a sheet of paper? So we're going to have fun. I hope that you'll stay tuned. Uh, don't forget to go to the March 1st video linked below and enter to win the craft giveaway by putting those words craft giveaway in the comments of that video linked below and uh, you might win one of those 12 prizes back there so it's pretty exciting uh, check out the video on March 1st and I hope you'll participate in the big giveaway for a national craft month so let's jump in and find out what can we do with a sheet of scrapbook paper well there's really a lot of things you can do with a piece of scrapbook paper but what we're going to do is we're going to make an ephemera folder for your journal or if you wanted to give gift it to someone and i've got <laughs> uh, so you know sometimes i do bloopers and uh tonight i'm not going to do a blooper but i am going to clean my little uh trimmer here and tell you a funny story so last night I was working on uh, my sparkle uh, ink and I couldn't get the uh, dropper to spit out the sparkle ink that was left in it so I could clean it and it ended up spitting it out and it spit it out everywhere. So just be aware of that. <laughs> By the way, we are going to do some more Sparkle Ink videos, but tonight we're not. Tonight, we're going to take uh, some of this paper that's right here and make it into an ephemera folder. So what you have to do really is determine the size that you want. Now, you could do many different sizes, but this is a 12 by 12 page, and I'm just going to cut it down to 11 inches. And then I'm going to cut it to 8. So 11 by 8. Now if you already have some uh, 11 by uh, 11 and a half by or 8 and a quarter, 8 and a half by 11 paper, then you're fine. But this one, I'm going to go ahead and uh, cut it. And so I've got an 11 inches by 8 inches tall. So now I'm gonna score this. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna score at, uh, let's see, let's score this one at two and a half. So you're gonna score at two and a half. And then at two and a half, let's just, let me just show you where you're at at two and a half. So we're gonna go ahead and fold this. And at two and a half, now I have eight and a half inches. So what I want to do is I want to score that in half, which would be four and a quarter. So this is your basic folder. So I've got, this is 11 inches by eight inches, scored at four and a quarter, and then at two and a half. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to create a little, um, fastener. So I'm going to take some of the paper that I have and I'm going to cut it at, let's see, which way do I want to do it? I want to cut it at a one and a half inches. So this is using just some leftover paper and then I'm going to cut it at three in inches. So I've got three inches by one and a half and this is going to be my fastener right here. Now you could make a belly band, you could make a band that goes around the whole thing, however you want to do it. But this is going to be my fastener. Then on the inside, I want to decorate and have some pockets. But before I do anything else and any more cutting, I want to let you know that I am going to use my cocoa dye ink and a blending tool. And I'm going to go around the edges to vintage eye. So I just have a homemade one and some cocoa dye ink and I just go around the edges like this all the way around and that gives me that look of old world. And then next I took a, a piece of another piece of the same paper pad and I cut the center of my uh, folio for my ephemera 
my ephemera folder, and then I cut a piece here that is, so I just cut at seven and three quarters. I cut the center because I wanted this flower on here, and then I took what was left. So I've just using some scrap paper that I had, uh, which was another piece. And I'm going to make these where they fit like this, but I can put ephemera in the side. So they're gonna be little tuck spots, and this one's gonna be all glued down. And then um, I'm going to put some ephemera in there. Now, on the outside, I'm going to decorate it, and then I'm going to put my little band here to close it. But I'm not going to really create a big pocket in here because I love this flower. But you could decorate it more. However, this paper is so beautiful, I really don't feel like I need to do much decorating. And also, the, the page is pretty vintage -y looking anyway. But you can definitely add um, to your um, old old look, your vintage. Now, I, I've got this paper. This is called Vintage Diary from Crafter's Companion. I don't know that you can get it anymore. But you could use any paper or theme that you like. All right, so what I mean by creating uh, tuck spots instead of pockets is I'm going to take this piece and actually glue that down. So I'm gonna take my glue, and the glue I'm using is Kalal glue. This is my favorite for matting and layering because it doesn't soak in the paper and the bond to the paper is very strong. It's my favorite, so I use it a lot. And I get it from Crafter's Companion site, their own site. So, and it adheres really pretty quick. So you gotta be right on your game to get it where you want it. All right, so that's gonna be what you open to. This is, could actually even be a card, but I'm making an ephemera folder. Now for this one, I'm gonna create my tuck spot here. So what I wanna do is I want either to tape on the top and the bottom and the side that's gonna be on the inside or I could glue it. I personally like to use uh, tape, double stick tape. I'm just gonna use, I started to use that, other, but I'm just gonna use some finger lift tape. If you haven't used finger lift tape, it's really fast and easy. And it just, you tear it with your finger and it just makes things a little faster. All right, so we're gonna put this here. I'm gonna line it up as well as I can. Okay, now my tuck spot is here. All right, so I'm putting some pressure there. And I'm gonna do the same thing this side, but um, on the inside as well. Now for this corner, I'm gonna put a little diagonal tuck spot here. And it's just gonna look like it's part of the, of the pocket, of the folder. And, but it can tuck some things in there too. So I'm just going to use my same tape and I'll go around the edge here and then the side. I'm not going to put anything at the top or this diagonal. Now this is just a square. I cut it and and then cut the diagonal shape from my trimmer. Okay, so I'm just going to put this right here on this corner. Like this. And now I have a little tuck spot here as well. Okay. Now the only other thing you might want to do is some ribbon and some ephemera decoration and that kind of thing. So I'm going to take a little bit of this ribbon from Dollar Tree before I put my fastener on. And I'm going to use some tacky glue, just some regular tacky glue to put this down. You do need a good bit unless you're going to use, um, I mean, not an over an amount, but you do need to make sure it's glued down well. And I'm just cut a little piece here to go on the edge. I want it to go top to bottom, and I wanna make sure that the glue is stuck to it. And then I'm gonna trim this a little bit. Okay, so 
here we're getting this together. Now I know that this is gonna go, I'm gonna put it up a little higher because of my little pocket there that I created, which is fine. But I also want it to look like finished. So I wanna take some stickers or some ephemera that I have or something to decorate it. And this would be pretty, so I have uh, not decided so I'm just looking through this package of things that I got recently. And there's some pretty stickers and everything. So I'm gonna find something to go on here. Maybe a flower. I think a flower would look pretty. So let me see what I have. So I have this really pretty old, old looking flower. It's gorgeous. It is a sticker, but I'm gonna add some glue to it just to help it a little bit. I want it to stay a while. So I'm gonna put this on the side that's gonna to go to the right like this. So that'll be pretty, right? And then I'm gonna go in here and I'm gonna add a little bit of decoration and some ephemera in it and things. And so I will show you how it came out at the end. All right, so I've got it finished except for putting the fastener on. So I'm gonna use some Velcro. And basically I usually stick it together like that, I cut a piece in half. And it does have, this Velcro does have adhesive on the back, but I always like to add some adhesive just in case it doesn't stick well. Um, this one does feel pretty good. I'm just gonna add a little on there. And stick it to this end here. And then add a little here. And then on this side, because I'm using that, that level, I'm gonna put a foam pad on this side just to make sure it's about the same height. So just a foam pad here. Okay. And then I put a little butterfly on there. All right. So remember, we were gonna stick it about here, and I did put something there, so I wanna make sure it's good. And push it down. All right, so this is my ephemera folder. I could add more. I, I feel like it needs uh, a lady here. So let me see if I have one that's pretty. Let's put one of these retro characters on there. Let's see. Um, something like this would be good. Okay. Now you can decorate, of course, with whatever theme you're decorating with. So let's just put her here. I love these old retro stickers. There we go. All right. So here is my ephemera folder that we made tonight, or portfolio, however you want. Now I wanted to put some words on here. So live your dream with passion is one of them. So we're gonna go ahead and pull this open. It's not fully stuck yet, but we're gonna do that. And I just wanted to put like live your dream with passion. And then this, this has my ephemera in it, this diagonal pocket and decorated there. I've got some ephemera and stickers in that side. And then here I just added a little decoration and put some ephemera journaling cards there. So that is what I did with a sheet of uh, scrapbook paper. So I hope you enjoyed this. It was pretty simple, fun thing to do. And uh, of course you could decorate as, as well and as much as you want. So anyway, thanks so much for watching. Happy National Craft Month. I hope you'll go and enter. Have a good day.